Hi, I'm meteorologist Kimberly Hepner at the National Weather Service for Alaska Statewide Weather. Well, the good news is is that the flooding is starting to improve. However, we still need to continue to watch the Matanuska River and the Chena River areas as we have low pressure that's continuing across the state and bring these close to flood stage. So keep an eye, especially on the Chena River near the North Pole, is the water still has not come down and we'll be continuing to observe these areas, the Matanuska and the Chena, as we head through the next few days. We'll ha continue to see some light rain. This afternoon we had some thunderstorms from the Brooks Range down through the central interior parts of the state. Elsewhere, light showers across the state, including the Bering, where a low-pressure system is seated just to, to the north of the Pribilof Islands. That low pressure across the Bering is going to stay in place overnight as another low pressure pushes from the North Pacific towards Cold Bay. Now, expect to see shower activity to continue overnight with the thunderstorms across the central interior and north, uh, tapering off after the, after sunset. Across the southeast, they'll still continue to see some light shower activity, even though a ridge is mainly in control of the eastern half of the Gulf of Alaska. As we head into your forecast for Wednesday, again, southeast is going to see some light showers, even with the ridge seated in the eastern Gulf. Now, the low pressure system from the North Pacific will be moving up towards Kodiak Island on Wednesday, and this is going to be brings quite a bit of rain ahead and north of the system. System. Also expect winds to begin to get a little bit gusty across the Alaska Peninsula on Wednesday. Elsewhere across the state, expect another round of thunderstorms across the central interior and the eastern half of the Brooks Range. Patchy fog will continue across the north and the northwest coast. Along the Bering, expect light showers to continue with fog um, beginning to move into the the western part of the bearing as a ridge stays seated in that area. Now as we get into your Thursday forecast, the low pressure system will move from Alaska Peninsula towards the Kenai Peninsula. Kodiak will stay under quite a few hours of rain as this system is going to be slowly approaching and moving over Kodiak Island and into the Kenai. Gusty winds up to gale force across the northern part of the Gulf can be expected as we go through your day late Thursday. So stay on the lookout for this system. We'll be bringing another round of showers as it moves north. With Alaska statewide weather, I'm meteorologist Kimberly Hepner.